Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today we've got a really, really cool reveal that the developers have uh, shown out, they've teased out, and uh, kind of kind of really piqued my interest, a totally new type of unit. So if we remember back, I think it was like in February, we have this big, big mammoth of a mammoth, and he's hacking and slashing, he's, he's messing up everyone with his, his big super duper tusks, and there is a little bit of a thing that we never really understood. If we look way in the background, there's a group of pink dudes, and then the one blue unit back there. Now what is that blue unit, you might be asking? And that is something that we asked and asked and asked about. We talked about it all the time in comments but it is a very interesting thing so if we look at it closely it's like throwing a little bit of smoke at it we're gonna zoom in here and it just watch how it kind of throws some smoke or some sort of uh, I don't even know what it would be we, we we had all the different comments down below but now the developers have actually released what this unit is and I'm, I'm actually excited for it because uh, I was not expecting this this is kind of a bard unit in a way see look at that he's throwing different smoke around and that's not smoke that is not smoke at all. It, it has a very different thing to it. Now, uh, if we watch one more time here, you kind of kind of getting the music in. You hear that? Yep. That is. Um, it's well. It's it's a banjo unit. <laughs> it's a, it's a banjo mu unit that. Uh, I mean, that's what he does. Is he plays the banjo and the guys start uh, start dancing. And that's why everyone is grouped up. So here he is, uh, zoomed in a little bit more. You can tell that it is a banjo now. Really, really neat looking banjo. And we can see him in the new reveal. Now this isn't the music, I just had to find some some good uh, banjo music to let these guys dance. But look at him go, man, it's an actual banjo. Everyone's dancing to the tunes. This is like the derpiest thing that I've seen. And the, the people are dying in the background. What is that? Wait a second, what is that circle-y thing? Ow! <laughs> wow! So we've got another unit too. <laughs> the amazing banjo banjo thing. So this is the actual music now. Uh, but I thought I, I had to give you guys some, some derpy banjo music. But look at this! How cool is this? Where we have uh, a bunch of different guys that are dancing. We got some really cool music now. And I, I really, really, really like this... Uh, this new, I guess it'd be, is this, it's probably part of the farmer faction, because it goes from the stone age and then they go into the farmer faction, and we're just seeing, oh look at he's, he's dancing with the banjo between his legs, that is hilarious, <laughs> there he is, look at that banjo man with the music, so it was the music notes that were flying up and not dust like we had assumed, so it wasn't a whip unit, it wasn't anything like that, this is an actual real live uh, banjo player, so bard unit that kind of enhances or entrances the other, uh, the other guys on the side. Uh, on the other side, and then we have these these circle um, javelins. Maybe I don't know. What do you guys think that uh, that unit would be? And we can look at them because we can get a little bit of a picture of what those uh, those javelins look like if we pause it at the right time. We can see that that arrow flying in. Here they are in the background back there. You can see that, that there's a bunch of them, and it's just like a throne unit. So a uh, pretty neat. Pretty neat little tool there. I don't really know what it would be, but this is a really, really cool faction. Uh, I can't wait to see, because we had like the shaman of the last units uh, of the, the Stone Age guys, and now we have this weird banjo unit as well. So we're gonna look at it one more time, and then we're gonna get into some viewer suggestions. If you do wanna know what uh, that javelin unit is, or the, whatever those guys in the background are, is that an atlatl? Uh, it looked kinda like it, where they have a, a longer stick and they throw that, the, they, they fling the long stick forward and it, it hooks onto the ring and it flies forward. I bet that's what it is. Ooh, that was a really good hit. So let's, uh, let's take a pause of this and we're gonna get into some viewer suggestions. I totally forgot about uh, this clip too. A work in progress of, uh, basically in a little update of the first person mode. Man, oh man. Uh, look, this is this is Super Dave with his, his big sword. And wow, this looks so much more stable than uh, what Tab Z was like. This looks absolutely fantastic. Being able to control your own unit in a battle, in a raging battle. Oh, he cleaves through a bunch of the spearmen. That is so cool. Get him, slice. Oh man, get wrecked. Yes, that's awesome. I love, I love that thing. We're gonna have to play around first person mode. First person mammoth sounds like so much fun. So we're gonna, whoa, <laughs> flow away over the map. And uh, oh man, I love this hose, this guys. He's gonna get a gang. Get wrecked, boom, gotcha. All right, so let's get into viewer suggestions now. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna start off the viewer suggestions today by Asher Haffin's great suggestion. Now, this is a uh, kind of a battle of the past versus the battle of the new, or the future versus the distant, <laughs> not future. 
history versus future, whatever. Uh, we have on the blue team, we've got 20 muskets in the very back with 10 archers in front of them. We've got a barrel roller and five cannons on the sides with two chariots kind of wandering in there. I believe there are uh, like 12 or something, 12 viking axemen, 15 bearmen, and then we have 30 footmen in here. And that is going against a kind of a, a heavy duty 20 laser swords, 15 laser pistols, We've got five beamers, three box guns, and the Jedi Master back here. We're going to see how this works. Um, the blue team, if we look at this, the blue team does have 44,420. Not 40,000, like four digits, not five. Uh, so they are a little heavier, but I think that this guy and these three are going to clear house. We're going to see. Let's see what we can do. Okay, and if you guys do want to see something in the game, please do drop it down below in the comment section. Give me a give me a great suggestion. I can't continue doing videos if you guys don't give me suggestions. So we're gonna go with that. Oh, okay, okay, we got some boxes in. Man, this is this has gone really crazy. <laughs> it's not really laggy yet. Looks like we have a couple dudes here, a couple of these guys left. Oh, and uh our our man, the myth and the legend is rolling in. Oh, wow. They've actually cleared out the entire red team. I was not expecting that. Okay, they're walking in for the beamers now. Ooh, the box man got beat up. Oh, no. There's a er, barrel roller. Okay, that's going up. Oh, it took out a beamer. It took out a beamer. I think he's dead. Is he done? He's not done. His eyes are still boogly. Boogly, boogly, googly, googly. And then they're going to go for him. Oh, dominated. Is that a double kill? No, it's not. The box cannon is still alive. Oh, beamer just took out an axeman. Okay, we do have a lot of archers in the back now. That's good news. Oh, oh, that was a... Wait a second. It just hit the axe. The axe killed him. What? A blue victory? No way. I don't believe that. We gotta do that one more time, because I do not believe that the blue team could win this. We're gonna try it again. Maybe we'll get better axes. That's probably what happened, is that uh, the Jedi Master got kicked out by... Yep, that's exactly what happened. Jedi Master got killed by the, the box cannon man. Wow, the super duper guy. Man, I like that. That's my favorite unit, I think, is uh, the Neon Boxer. I love it. I hope there's more secret units like that. Whoa, nice shot. Okay, we're gonna try this again. I do not, I just can't believe that um, the blue team wins this. I just can't. Huh, it'll try it one more time. It's It's gotta come down to the, that Jedi Master being alive. Whoa, <laughs> you see the box cannon fly way up into the sky? That was awesome. Yeah, this is this is much better placement for the box cannons. Plus, we have these laser pistols in here. Yep, that's this is more of what I was thinking was going to be what's going to happen. Then we have the the Jedi Master coming in. He's going to get hit with art arrows. Oh, is that box going to hit? The box is going to blow up. Watch out! Ooh, the box blew up. It took some guys out. Jedi Master flew back. Nice, the gravity box. Wow. We do have some of the beamers left. It looks like the beamers just took down the last of the cannons. And they're going to slice him up. Oh, the beamer just hit our, hit our Jedi Master. Uh-oh. Oh, he's getting he's getting hit. He's getting taken down. Oh, he took out two more. Oh, the beamer just got some dominated. Yeah, this is what I thought was going to happen. And then the beamer is just going to totally dominate this dude. Watch watch the shot. Oh, ho, 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 there it was. Yep, so that's what I thought was going to happen. But really, really even battle. Good work on that one. So, Mythily had... Madaban says to do the master versus the student. So we're going to start off first. He's got a couple different suggestions. We're going to start off first with the super peasant versus 100 peasants. Now, if I remember right, the super peasant is really, really strong. And these peasants aren't going to be able to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> the peasants aren't even going to have a chance at him. I think the super peasant can even take out, like, the uh, the chicken men men. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, so the only thing that they really can't take out is a box cannon if they get a good hit. And um, the dark peasant that I know of. Oh man, that was that was messy. Figured that would win though. So let's try the super samurai versus the regular samurais and see what will happen on this one. I think the regular samurais will win. So if I remember right, the super samurai doesn't have many hit points. Yep, I figured that. And that samurai sword is very strong. And let's try the M16 versus 100 muskets. Hmm. This is a pretty good suggestion, I think. It's gonna, we're gonna have to see what happens. If they get a shot off, I think it's gonna dominate the M16. Yep. Because <laughs> they don't have many hit points, but he did take out quite a few. How about the Jedi Master versus 100 regular Jedis? 
I don't know. This could this could go either way. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it can't, it's not going that way. That's for sure. How about a box cannon versus a hundred cannons? <laughs> well, we know what the answer to this one's gonna be. They're just gonna poop on him. Oh, maybe not. He's in a good. He's in one of those hidden spots. Oh, this is hilarious. Can he survive? Oh, can he survive on his own little world down here? Oh no, he can't. <laughs> that was a lot of carnage on the on the red team, though. I kind of want to watch that again because these guys are just dominating each other. That was hilarious. Yeah, let's watch. Okay, they all grouped up. Ooh, that was a really really good box. Look at that. Oh, he took out so many of them right away. Watch the little watch the little box guy. There he is. Go oh, smash smash boxer. Oh, they killed him already. <laughs> I like watching that one. How about a hundred boxers versus a super boxer? Hmm. I'm guessing the super is gonna win because he's got a lot of hit points. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, Mr. Boxer of Superness? Bow, 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 bow. Nice, look at him go. Ooh, here's a good good slam right there. Slam Jamba, thank you, man. Oh, man, they're still piling up. Look at that go. He's gonna win. He's gonna do it. He's got a big old pile of bodies. This is like Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Just a pile of bodies that mean absolutely nothing. Go, go, go. He did it. We're gonna try one more. The Axemen versus the Headbutters. I didn't really want headbutters, I wanted regular Vikings, but we'll try it. Ooh! <laughs> they knocked him back. Oh wow! Are they flying up? They're jumping. Jumping super Oh no! Oh no 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 no. Okay. This is great. <laughs> he got mauled. We'll try the regular Vikings, because I know you guys will ask. So we'll just try it. I think that might be the last of these uh one versus hundred battles that we do for today. If you guys have any more suggestions of one versus one hundred, let me know. Man, they're just gonna carry him right off the map, aren't they? He can't even, he can't even swing. Uh-oh. Wait, is he gonna win? Oh, man, he just ripped that guy's head off. Oh, he didn't win, but that, he did a pretty good job of it. Really neat. You know, I did forget one other. The Chicken Man Man versus a leg-inducing 100 Chicken Men. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm guessing the Chicken Tsunami is gonna just leg it out. We won't be able to do anything. I'm thinking that's what will happen. Oh, look at all those chickens in there. Oh, there's the there's the leg tsunami right there. Oh, yes. Yeah. So the chicken men should win. Oh, I can't do anything anymore. Wow. Look at look at all this. It's like KFC is just thrown up all over this guy. <laughs> look at all those chickens. That's actually a really cool shot. The chickens. Oh, he's down already. Wow. The chickens did a lot of damage. Very nice. And we've got two from Commander LMACCA. Lamarca. Whatever, however you pronounce that. This is the Imperials versus the Rebels and Luke versus Vader and Palpatine. We're going to try it out and see how we can go on the Japan map with the little canyon in the middle. Red team is, uh, what are these, the, the Imperials? Yes. We have the Energy Sword Master, who's Darth Vader, with uh, the Royal Guard of four Samurais. And then we've got, uh, I think it was 20, uh, 10 Archers. I probably messed that up. <laughs> and then 15 Imperials or Peasants up in front, just regular soldiers. Might be a little bit weak, because on the on the blue team, we have 20 Laser Pistols, 10 Headbutters, who are the Ewoks. And we have uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi back here. So we'll try it out. Uh, my, I'm going to say that uh, blue team is going to win. I don't know. I don't know. We, oh, yeah, the headbutters are going to beat the peasants every single time. Depends on how much friendly fire. And then we have um, the headbutters is going to get taken out by the archers, but the energy, energy pistols are going to win. I think that's what will happen here. Yep, I think. Oh, man. Uh, the guard just went down. Okay, and we have the lightsaber man in. <gasps> Ooh, what happened to what happened to Obi Wan? Obi Wan Kenobi. Where did he go? Oh, oh, blue victory. Yep, I figured that was gonna happen. I don't know what happened. To oh, he was still alive right at the end. Okay, we've got the final battle, and this is Luke versus Invader versus Palpatine. So we have the energy sword master who's Luke, and behind that is a Vader or Anakin who has turned to the good side again. Over here, we have. Vader? <laughs> what? <laughs> Vader's in here twice, sure. Vader and Palpatine's back there, and then hiding, we have another unit. Back over here, who is a chicken? Chick well, he's not a, quite a chicken, man. He's, he's a peasant. He's just a lowly peasant, Jar Jar Binks, who's a Sith. So, let's start this off. I don't know. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my money on the blue team winning, just because it's, uh, well, the chickens aren't very hard for these energy swordsmen. Oh no! Oh, that would have been close if that bucket would have hit. Okay, this is this is gonna. Oh, look at this battle, slice and dice. Oh, the, the evil versus good. Oh, the blue team won. I didn't. Uh, if that would have gone other way, Luke taking out Vader. I guess it was Obi Wan taking out Vader. Oh, the chickens took him out. What? 
Oh, and here comes Jar Jar Binks floating around. He's flying in like a like a the sissy he is. Let's see, let's see if Redeem Vader can take him out. Get those legs chopped up. Get those legs chopped up. Oh, you can do it. You can do it. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. You can do it. Come up. Come up. Cut those legs off. Cut the legs off. I kind of wish there was a little bit of dismemberment. Whoa! Are you kidding me? The red team won. We can't let it end like that. We have to. We have to mash mash the legs off the chicken man. I didn't realize the chicken man could do the damage like that. Oh, and, then, and here it comes. Oh, he's down. He didn't get any kills. Oh, and a box. A box flew in. Oh, no. Ooh, gravity box. Yikes. Okay, here they go. Oh, and another gravity box. Oh, no. Oh, that was a good one. And another one. We're getting messed up. The dark side is starting to take hold. Oh, they got him. He's down. The Palpatine is gone. Oh, and the box took him out. Very cool. That's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do let me know. Give me the more of the suggestions down below in the comments. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.